Uh, hello, one and all. A very warm welcome to Boys Be Comedy Heaven. Hello, everybody on the front row. Hello. Uh, and hello to everybody watching at home. Thank you for joining us. That was a lovely uh, throwback to the OG lockdown because the reason why we started late is because some people hadn't got the link. Oh, and I, mi I missed the panic. I had missed the eight o'clock panic, making sure that everyone had the link. As you're, as you're emailing 20 people who don't have the link, you're thinking, hmm, just like at the Palladium. <laughs> oh my god if you could see what happens before a gig it's me and tim on whatsapp going oh my god and then the show starts oh hi everyone thanks very much <laughs> Our eyes still wet with tears um great to see you all front row there's so, there's there's some newbies that we always we always love to see where's dawn jarvis Dawn Jarvis hasn't turned the camera on. Have, my camera's not working. It is on, but it says it's not working. I am here. Hello, everybody. Dawn Jarvis. I tell you what, I love the air of mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and sort it out. I thought it was your side, but I'll try and sort it out before the end of the show. <laughs> to be honest with you, Dawn, given how these past 200-odd gigs have gone, there's every chance that it is our side, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see you in court tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, Dawn, I, I like this. I feel like I'm on the wireless. Oh my, did I just say wireless? <laughs> Coming up after the news, the shipping forecast. <laughs> what a hip happening dude I am. Turn the wireless off. I put a hoodie on as if I'm 25, but the references really give me away. Uh, Dawn Jarvis, thank you for joining us via Morse code just to show my age. Uh, Dawn. We can't see you, but there's a there's a lovely uh, dark box. Um, I will carry on talking to you, Dawn. Dawn, you've never been on our front row before. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Dawn, how is everything with you? It's marvellous. I'm really glad to be here. Thank you. Dawn, can I just say that this is the happiest front row audience member we've, we've ever chatted to? <laughs> <laughs> Some of these miserable bastards look absolutely furious, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, Dawn, may I ask, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a nurse and I've got a management consultancy and I'm a YouTuber as well. You are joking. Dawn Jarvis, you're a nurse. <laughs> yes. You manage a consultancy. Yeah. You're a YouTuber. Uh, anything else, Dawn? No, just all around good person. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Dawn, the, you know what, Dawn? You're the sort of person you should have a book out. <laughs> I'm writing a book. What? I am writing a book. Yeah, I am writing a book. Are you wow. joking me? Yes. So you're a nurse. You're an all-round good person. You're a YouTuber. <laughs> you're writing a book. Dawn, this is absolutely... What an absolute privilege to talk with you, Dawn. We wish that we could see you for this reason. Tim, let's look at the book. <laughs> Dawn Jarvis, is that the book? That right, is the book. Yeah. Get in there! Get in there! <laughs> you have no wrong, Dawn Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> if that had come up and you'd gone, well, two reasons to see you in court, that's not even me. <laughs> Someone, somebody, an old boss once said to me, when I had an office job many moons ago, a boss said to me, he says, you'll never know happiness, you will only ever know relief. <laughs> and you know when someone says something that's so hurtful but yet absolutely a hundred percent accurate yeah. what i just experienced there was the relief of knowing that we got the right book dawn please share with us uh what the book is about it sounds extraordinary that as, as someone who's read every self-help personal development book that is available this sounds quite up my street please dawn share with us the book um, it's about how you can manage the networks that you have to start your business, manage your, get a promotion, um, earn money and be, live your best life, basically. Dawn, that sounds amazing. You, you sound like the sort of person that should, should you, you should have your own like podcast or show, something like that. I do like have that. my podcast. I don't believe it. The Don Jarvis show. 
Dawn, honestly, the, you are the, the front row audience member we, we've been crying out for. Some some showbiz glamour while also being a good person. Now, who have you had on the Dawn Jarvis show so far? Nobody nobody famous. It's usually entrepreneurs who, who like to be on YouTube or on a podcast. Well, we, we've done some homework, Dawn, and we found oh, no. something <laughs> we think would make the perfect guest on the Dawn Jarvis show. Tim, let's okay. show her our pitch. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Richard Gill, the guest's guest. Dawn Jarvis just said, "Let's do it." Now, as the regulars who know Richard Gill, they they know that Richard Gill will take that as contractual obligation. Who <laughs> <laughs> will interview who? Some of the front row members. Some of the front row members are nodding. Chris, no more of that, dude. Please. Some of the front row members are nodding. No one was nodding harder than Richard Gill just then. <laughs> to give it, Dawn, to give an insight as to how much Richard Gill wants to be on YouTube, Tim, can we just share what Richard Gill looks like tonight? <laughs> so lovely. I like your hat. It's lovely. Thank you. It took me all night to make. <laughs> the fact that he said it took him all night to make suggests that he worked all through last night and into today <laughs> now nikki one of our front row members by the way if you've never been to an always be comedy online show before you're thinking is it normally like this this is the most polished show we've ever done <laughs> <laughs> if you're a newbie you're thinking this is this is a, this is an absolute shambles some of the regulars are like, wow, they finally worked out how to do this. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> you go, guys. Uh, now, Nikki, one of our regulars, you had your hand up. Did, was there something that you wanted to say here? No, I'm sorry. I was clicking buttons trying to make my internet better, and I it just kept putting my hand up, and my apologies. I, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Richard Gill, that is how to conduct yourself as a front row audience <laughs> None of this shouting out. None of this reaching for the tennis racket right on <laughs> <laughs> You've never been before. Richard Gill is our, our, our fr front row. We're not related. We have the same surname. In many yeah. ways, we wish we were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Richard Gill sometimes will hold up his tennis racket in the air, and that is Richard Gill's way of saying, please ask me to uh, sing a song. I've got Richard, one if you want one. No, we, we, we just broke up there, Richard. We just lost you for a few seconds. Uh, Belle Gold, one of our front row members live from America, is literally Yay. crying with laughter. Well, I, you know what, Richard? I'm going to assume it's laughter. I can only hope that it is laughter. Uh, Bell Gold, bless you, live from America. This is the hardest we've ever made uh, anyone laugh in more than 10 years. <laughs> of, <laughs> finally, after 10 years of Always Be Comedy. Uh, the front, By the way, the front row tonight is absolutely rammer dammer doodah. Moira Stewart is with us. Evie, Evie, oh. give us a wave. Hope everyone can see Evie. Evie, did you manage to track down the jive bunny? <laughs> 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 Are you serious? <laughs> Evie, is there a way of getting the camera to show that... So basically, as you're probably picking up, a lot of my references are trapped in the past. Last week, I tried to think... I tried to sing a, what I thought was a modern song, and my immediate go-to was the original Jive Bunny Megamix. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone over the age of 40 is thinking, that is a good reference. <laughs> Everyone under the age of 40 is going, what is a jive bunny? <laughs> as a joke, as a challenge, we said to Evie, if you find that vinyl, stick it on your wall. And she's ended up finding the vinyl. A round of applause for Evie. This is... Hey. Evie and Dawn Jarvis dragging the, the front row into 2022. Absolutely sensational. Uh, Evie, if there's a way of taking a photo and tweeting that this is definitely Jive Bunny and we will, the least we can, I, believe, I, I absolutely believe you, but just for pure gag value, uh, that that would be wonderful. Uh, now, Louis, whose name I mispronounce every single show, it's not Lois, it's not Lewis, it's Louis. Louis, give us a wave. Is it Louis or is it Lewis? It's Louis. 
Oh, it's the first time I've ever got it right. It had yeah. to happen. <laughs> By the law of averages, we had another regular. To this day, I'm not sure if she was from Jersey or Guernsey, because whichever one I said, it was always the other one. <laughs> Where to God she was changing islands. Um, so tonight, uh, in order of appearance, we, we will be bringing, bringing on our dear friend, uh, Jake Lambert. Yes. Yay. Uh, ferocious talent, huge favourite at Always Be Comedy, whether it's at the Tommy Field in South London or whether it's with the online nights. Victoria Kent just sneezed. Bless you. Uh, we will. Let... Victoria Kent, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure those flowers are, are a good idea because that was quite. A... <laughs> what, a, what a way to find out you're allergic. Uh, I was actually that... yawning. I was trying to suppress it. Yawning. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Me there, the ultimate gentleman. Oh, bless you. Oh, no, actually, James, I find you really tedious. <laughs> <laughs> Story of the old life there, summed up in one exchange. <laughs> bless you. Oh, no, it's, it's much worse than you think. Oh, really? <laughs> Great. Uh, then we've got... What, what are the flowers for, Victoria? Um, just to cheer myself up. My weekly <laughs> delivery of, of flowers. That is so, you, hang on, you, you get yourself flowers to cheer yourself up? Every week I get flowers delivered on a Monday morning. That is such a lovely idea. That is amazing. Because Evie does the exact same with bags of cat. <laughs> <laughs> really what Evie, Evie, if you want to talk about relief, the relief that when you laughed at that, I was like, fuck. <laughs> I'll give Richard Gill a break. <laughs> Uh, after Jake Lambert, we've got uh, the wonderful Ken Chang. Yes. Yay. Yay. Uh, and then we will be having a chat with our dear old friend, uh, one of the greats, uh, an absolute Mount Rushmore favourite, uh, always be comedy, James Acaster. Lovely chat yes. uh, with our dear old pal, James Acaster. And then closing the show, uh, for many of you, the ultimate headliner with not well not just in the flesh but with these online gigs one of the greats uh, uh an absolute hero joe caulfield Yay! Yay! what a bill sweet jesus of nazareth uh right front right right geordie chris there you are bless you geordie chris have you all fully moved in yet oh no i'm getting my place like sort of renovated how is it going? Um, well, I'm sat here. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Oh, the reason why I asked Geordie Chris is because for the past few gigs, we've seen angles to your place that we've never seen before. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, no, no, no. We're, we're, we're very grateful and we hope uh, the builders get a rig on. Richard Gill has made his own hat. You could actually hear my heart break when I saw that. <laughs> uh, Nikki, no Die Hard t-shirt tonight Dawn Jarvis, there is a queue outside your house with people asking for the book to be signed uh, Ali, welcome back Tracy, give us a wave is this your first time on the front row? yes it is, yeah it's my first time here it's your first time at Always Be Comedy? yeah, yeah. yeah I'm excited well, I tell you what, I'm going I'm to bring Jake Lambert on I won't be doing my job as a human being uh, instead of going 10 out of 10, we will go Tracy out of 10 uh, in honour of you uh, making your front row debut. Lauren, give us a wave. Hi, Lauren, uh... have you put Vaseline on your camera lens? <laughs> oh, it broke a long time ago and I, I was going to borrow my sister's laptop but she wouldn't let me. Uh, but the reason why I said that, Lauren, is because one or two of our front row members who are, shall we say, advanced in their years... <laughs> they also put Vaseline oh, no, 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 <laughs> Lauren you're a trendsetter yeah. <laughs> from every show from now on Richard Gill will have the biggest blob well what sorry let me rephrase that what we oh. hope is the biggest blob I'm, I'm going to walk away from this one. <laughs> mental image that none of us want um, right, Trace, we'll go Tracy out of 10, so uh, let's go straight to 7 out of 10. Yes! Yay. 9 out of 10. Yes! Tracy out of 10. Yay. 